what is going on sheep army this is your boy random arts coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're gonna be talking about shaitoshi kusama one simple tweet that got a lot of people excited about uh the future of bone so before i dive too deeply into it do me a huge favor and hit that like button hit that subscribe button definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about bone so as it currently stands right now, Bone is sitting at 64 cents, guys. It did have another sell-off, so it looks like somebody just was ready to get out. So it's kind of having a slight bounce because it is um, near that support area of that 60 cents. So whether or not 60 is going to hold, only time will tell. Um, again, 60 cents, if 60 does not hold, the next line in the sand for Bone is going to be 50 cents. I know some people might be freaking out, but again, the market is going to move the way the market is going to move. So once you click that buy button, you're subject to whatever movements. And this is why I always like buying at support area, because then I'll be a little bit more in control versus someone just buying at a random spot. And as soon as you buy the asset could, you know, again, go either direction. So. This is the emoji. This is the post that Shaitoshi Kusama um, did yesterday. And it's just a simple handshake. Now, I've, I've received so many different theories because people DM me uh, privately and give me their thoughts and opinion about stuff. Um, and, you know, for the most part, I don't I don't discourage anybody because at the end of the day, they could be very well right. You know, I could be wrong, but I didn't look too deeply into it. But I do know for a fact, though, that uh, one of the uh, magazine, they did mention that they are going to be partnering, uh, uh, working with an exchange to be able to have the integration of Bone. So hopefully this just signify that, hey, the work is done now. And now we're going to start being able to see the integration of Bone. Because I think having all these pieces in place, like I mentioned in my last video, having these pieces in place is going to allow easy access for people to be able to get into Shibarium, which is going to in turn help the growth of it. So this is the, this is the stuff that I want to see, but whether or not this handshake just signify that we are getting a finance listing guys, I think that would be reaching because another uh, thing that someone post uh, shared with me. And just in case you see this circulating around, um, you see this transaction right here from, uh, 734 days ago, it shows Binance um, with Bone as well as making a um, a transaction. So if you guys were not around um, at the time of Shiba Swap, Binance was actually staking their Shiba Inu just to be able to get Bone rewards. So these are just their rewards that they received. And guess what Binance ended up doing? They started dumping Bone. So hence why... You know we see like the price of bone the way it is because again bone was a reward you know a token a rewarding token so typically what you see any token that is being rewarded they tend to get dumped a lot so price action of bone is a result accumulation of all of this throughout the years but now that the minting has stopped and this is you know the fixed price now bone is going to start getting into a groove where it's going to really find um it's, it's real price target so right now again 64 cents could could go lower and if it does i welcome it because i am still looking to be able to eventually get to that 10k uh bone uh bag now good news here guys we do got a new listing so atlantis exchange um decided that they want to um list bone now, I have no clue about Atlantis Exchange, never used them before. First time actually hearing about them, but the listing is going to go live, guys, on January 5th. At least we're getting some more positive news on this um, end because, again, we need more and more exchanges to list bone. And the reason why we need more and more exchanges to list bone is so that way we could uh, have sufficient liquidity to be able to combat like any well from selling or any big price movement um on the word uh, on the downward side so super excited just to be able to see that now the last thing too guys that i just want to bring was vb's post i think to me this is just showing you guys that we are going in the right direction now i know previously in the past people had the speculation of as far as vb working with sheeb um 
you know, in it, in this post, in a sense, because just the direction that we're headed to, it almost seems like we're getting, you know, we're getting pushed or we have some type of connection. Maybe I'm reaching in this one, but he says all L2s should be working on trustless. Now, this is the thing that I like about fund uh, unification because they're trustless. Um, and this is the stuff that we're working on. And not only that, he's talking about the so that we could have a e, uh, ENS subdomain register uh, registrable uh, updatable and readable directly on L2 so he think ENS is super important and we're with the sheep name and the name um, name service it's similar to that guys so again I think we're overall as a community i'm thinking about big picture thinking versus people are thinking like price action when's my bag gonna pump i think we are headed in the right direction only time will tell where we're gonna be at you know in this next bull run but i'm super excited about it and i'm still getting my bags ready and prepared because again after the having this is really when the fun really begins so let me know guys in the comment down below your thoughts your opinion about all this Random Art signing off. Peace.